About eight years ago, researchers at the Dunbar Forest Experiment Station started a new red pine plantation. The key to getting red pine well established here is to get it planted in dry areas. This project is less an experiment and more of a demonstration of the process you go through to grow red pine in Michigan's Upper Peninsula. Red pine is one of the native pines of Michigan along with white pine and jack pine. And today it's a very valuable species for both the paper industry, sawn wood industries, and cabin and utility pole uh, operations. And it turns out that the soils here at the Dunbar Forest can grow red pine very rapidly. This research plot has red pine on it that are 81 years old. An experiment was put into this plantation 55 years ago. Some were thinned and some were planted and left alone. One of the obvious things that we see in this plot is that the trees are smaller than in the plots where we have been thinning over the years. We also see a lot of material that's down and dead lying on the floor. Trees that have fallen over because they've died or broken in windstorms. And finally, we see that there are very little leaves left on the tops of these trees. The leaves, of course, are the part of the tree that makes the tree's nutrition. And if there are not a lot of leaves, the tree can't make much food and it becomes less healthy and more susceptible to insect and disease problems. And then there's a section that has been thinned 12 times over the past 50 years. The differences between no control or thinning and this thinned plot are obvious. We have many different species regenerating. Here's a red oak. Here's a red maple. We have sugar maple regenerating in here. So we have a diversity of species in the understory. The trees in this plot are much bigger in diameter than the plot where nothing was done. And they're more healthy. The crowns up above where the leaves are occupy almost a third of the whole tree. And what better place to conduct this important research than at the Dunbar Forest Experiment Station? The reason this research is conducted is because thin is in and researchers are looking for the sweet spot of density.